totally said something that makes me think, and I think we've talked about this too, like social media shouldn't be the place where we are calling out for help. I mean, that's a one-on-one -on -one thing. We should yeah. be actually talking to people or I think you said something um, to me in a conversation about it being kind of an online journal, yeah. but maybe we should just really be physically journaling yeah. <laughs> or maybe physically talking to our girlfriends saying I need help. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and like, honestly, if people are using social media or Instagram or Facebook as places to post all of their family highlights, um, I think we just have to be careful of as being people who look at that and where we are judging them. Because if, you know, years ago, where did you put that stuff in your photo album? Mm -hmm. You know, and you'd cut, you'd, you know, it would be a fun time to go and get the photo album, look at the pictures and the kind of pictures you put in a photo album were birthdays and vacations and happy times. Yeah. So. You know, I get why people post those kinds of things. Yeah. And um, they're fun. Yeah, and it's fun. And so, like, even for me, when I'm looking at that, I have to really think about not judging in a certain way um, because people want to post the good stuff. Right. Um, right. But it can sometimes be a little consuming from for the person who's looking at it. Mm -hmm. um, it can be an addiction, really, yeah. and really rob you of your time and your emotions. Yeah. When since Pastor gave us the, it was the Struggle is Real series, and we talked about that the struggle is real on comparison and looking at stuff. And I really, I did a turn off of, and it was a challenge, I did a shutdown of all social media. For how many days did we do it? Seven? Seven, yeah. When I went back to, and got back on, I found that I was, I was scrolling, and I call it trolling less. And that's helpful. At the same time, I don't ever want to be the, I'll post all my wonderful things, but then I never engage with other people because I'm just going to post and go. Like, if it's going to be where I interact on my end, I need to interact with other people. I think, yeah. again, it's being self-aware. Like, if I'm self-absorbed and it's all about me, 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 yeah. but never about you, like, it's kind of like the Bible talks about to be a friend, you have to be friendly. Well, if we're going to use social media as a friendship platform, we have to be friendly to up. Like, there's times I go, oh, I want to post Isaiah's game or Aubrey's theater and just get off. Like, I just want people to see my kids. But then there's times I go, no, there's a new baby that was just born. I need to take the time to to write congrats. Mm -hmm. Because in my heart, I'm like, oh yay, I saw they had a baby, congratulations to them. But there's this give and take, like a friendship. Mm -hmm. And social media allows us to do it, but it also allows us to get really catty if we're not careful as, yeah. as women. Yeah, 